I've got the Natasha Denona Purple Blue Eyeshadow Palette 28 to share with you guys today. I'd asked in my previous video, which is on the green brown palette, I'll link that down below, whether or not you guys want to see this like swatched out and a look on it. And a lot of you want to see this swatched out as well, so I'm going to go ahead and do that today. I go into a little bit more depth on the formula of these in the green brown palette video, um, and I feel the same way about these shadows as I do those ones, same type of formula. In, in a nutshell, they're really rich, really pigmented, they perform well on the eyes and blend very nicely, but they're messy, and if you have oily eyelids, I think that you're going to have to use a really long wearing base for these because I think they'll have a ten tendency to crease because there is sunflower and jojoba seed oil in these and they're really really shiny so like uh, typically I get lid transfer with shiny shades on my lid but with this one I got quite a bit of lid transfer so just a little something to make note of but I did do a, the look that's on my eyes which will be demo towards the end of the video if you're interested in that and what I found, like I, what I was looking for when I was doing this look, I tried to stick to just this palette, which is what I typically do when I'm doing a palette. I want to see what comes out of it just using that palette. And I <laughs> I broke down <laughs> and I grabbed um, Burberry's Matte Eyeshadow and Trench for underneath the brow because otherwise it was just going to be like this big shimmer pile <laughs> and I was I wasn't feeling you know shimmer from there to there so I went ahead and I brought in a different eyeshadow but there is not a matte highlight shade in this and then I also found that I was looking for some type of a, a transition shade either satin satin matte or something like that and there just really isn't one so I ended up using one of these more pearly type of shades that aren't so metallic and kind of blended that it up into the trench shade. Um, the transition isn't perfect there, but that's, uh, you know, this is what I had to work with. So, uh, and again, I, I kind of purchased both of these palettes knowing how much metallic there is in them and they're going to be more like um, lid type of palettes for me because I don't feel like they're super standalone. They're something that I'm going to want to bring in with another type of palette to use. So with that being said, let me go ahead and zoom in and give you guys some swatches. Something that I had forgot to mention is the shades are not listed on the actual palette. This is the box the palette comes in and these are all of the shades that are in there. I'll read them off as I go along as well. Here's the actual palette with the Natasha Denona embossed in there and there is a plastic cover that is perforated if you want to tear it off. And then here are your 28 eyeshadows. Real quick I'm going to point out which shades are the matte shades in this palette. This one's a matte. This one is a matte. These two blues right here are matte. Then you've got this this color down here which is a matte and this guy is a matte. So you do have more matte eyeshadows in this palette that as opposed to the other one. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six matte eyeshadows in this one and the other one there was only three. I'm going to go ahead and start swatching these by two. This one is 28V Electric Violet. This one is 82V Nina's Orchid. Then you've got 51M Rosewood and 80M Piggy. <laughs> Rosewood and Piggy. And then you've got Lavender Gray 40M and metallic steel blue which 11M lavender gray metallic steel blue and then there's 11V steel blue which is one of the mats and then you've got down here 38M gray brown. Steel blue and gray brown. And then you've got 24V aubergine and 22M maroon. And now I'm I'm like not like grinding my fingers into these either. I'm just lightly going over the top of them. So you've got aubergine and maroon. Oh, that color is beautiful. Then 
Then you've got 60M Golden Rose and 63M Oxide. Oh, these are so pretty. Ooh. So pretty, those colors. And then there is 84V Powder Blue, which is a matte, and 09M Quicksilver. Oh, that actually, this matte color here, that, that would have been beautiful packed on the lid. I was going back and forth whether or not purple blue, purple blue, should I do a purple blue eye? <laughs> oh, but that color is beautiful. We've got 32P Deep Slate Gray. And then 75P Satin Skin. Deep Slate Gray and Satin Skin. Then there's 52M Golden Beige and 70P Cool Plum. Golden Beige and Cool Plum. Then this next shade is 92M Petroleum Blue. And then you've got 89V Kotal. Oh, this these would look beautiful on the lid as well. Oh, that color, so pretty. So petroleum blue and Kotal. Then this shade over here is 03V Deep Pacific. And over here we've got 12M Glaze. So Deep Pacific and Glaze. Getting to the home stretch. <laughs> um, this color is Smoky Plum 23P. And then this one is 49M Vintage. So Smoky Plum and Vintage. And then this one is 05M Calypso Blue. It's almost like blue-brown pigment from MAC kind of. And then you've got 65V Smoke, which is another one of the MAC colors in here. So you've got Calypso Blue and Smoke. And then the last two is 04M Chromatic. This has got some grit, a little bit of grit to it, this one. 01V Navy, which is another one of the mattes. So you've got chromatic and navy. And that is chrome. <laughs> there are some stunning shades in here, but again, I feel like I'm going to be pairing this with other palettes. I don't feel like it's a standalone palette with some really stunning shades in here. I'm glad that I have both palettes. I'm still contemplating whether or not they're worth the price tag. Um, if you don't know, they're $239 a palette <laughs> and I purchased them on the pre-sale on Beautylish and they're supposed to be getting them back in stock in the middle of February. However, you can buy all of these shadows um, singly and also in the palettes off Natasha Denona, I, uh, the website. And I've heard a couple people say that they have ordered these larger palettes off the Natasha Denona website and the layout of the shadows was different. So I, I can't say for sure on that because I purchased these through Beautylish. So. Anyway, if you guys want to see uh, how this palette performed and kind of the look that's on my face, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. I 
I already primed my eyes from the lash line to underneath the brow with the NYX eyeshadow base in number one, which is just a matte white. I use kind of a really thin layer of that. And on a gloss number 18 brush, which is just a flat shader, I'm going to go into this color right here, which is called 12M Glaze. And I'm going to put that on the, the first part of my lid right here. I've got some fallout here. Using that same brush, I'm going to go into this color right here, which is called Nina's Orchid 82V. And I'm going to pack this one on the rest of the lid. I'm going to overlap that inner corner too in a minute, kind of through the center of the lid. I have some fallout with that guy too. Then I'm going to go back into the glaze shade and I'm going to kind of overlap that in the center right here. Then using a Chikahoto GSN 9, I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is a matte uh, deep purple. It's called Aubergine. And I'm going to put this on the outer portion of the crease. Bring it up. wipe off this fallout. <laughs> then using a Hakuhodo J5523 brush, I'm going to go into the shade 28V Electric Violet and just like a dash of this guy and kind of put it through here. Normally I don't like to venture into a different palette when I'm kind of doing a look on just a palette, but they're, the light shades in that are so metallic and I'm not feeling um, metallic up to the brow bone, so I'm going to go into um, Burberry's Trench, which is a matte eyeshadow, and this is Trench 02, on a Chikahoto GSN 7 brush, and I'm going to use that for underneath the brow. Then I'm going to dip back into that uh, electric violet shade very, very lightly with a Hakuhodo J5533 brush. Like just a tiny bit and then put it a little bit more through here and then fade it up into the trench um, color. So there's the eyeshadow done. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. To line the lips, I've got a Clinique Quick Liner for Lips Intense and this is an Intense Hibiscus. I'm just going to go ahead and line these and kind of fade it inwards. And then I'm going to fill it in using the Too Faced La Creme lipstick in the shade Clueless. Um, this might be a little overboard, but <laughs> I'm just going to go with it. So there's the overall finished look using the purple blue palette from Natasha Denona. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.